on a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Oh, I wish it was me Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Monica. Today we are going to be decorating the family room. I want to make this all nice and cozy for the fall season. I did have this decorated for fall previously, but I had been searching Pinterest and I saw so many beautiful ideas incorporating some pumpkins and some greenery and I really wanted to create that in my family room in here. For many of us, I promise you that Okay, so before I get started with all of the fun decorating, I'm going to just give this area a really quick dusting and I'm going to be using this Caldrea multi-purpose cleaner. It is a gilded balsam birch scent and it smells absolutely amazing. I am obsessed with this scent. I feel like every time I purchase a new Caldrea scented cleaner, it is always quickly my favorite. So. If you are interested in this one, I will go ahead and leave that linked down in my description box. Okay, so I have been on Pinterest searching for some French country decor ideas for fall and I came across a few that involved some fantasy pumpkins and some branches and leaves of eucalyptus and I fell in love with this look. I really wanted to try to recreate that here in my family room and I feel like I did a really good job at that. I did find a few bundles of eucalyptus at Trader Joe's as well as these fantasy pumpkins. You can find these at any grocery store honestly. You can find them at um, farmers markets and all that stuff. I've even seen the fantasy pumpkins sold at like Home Depot and stuff like that. I did get six of them and I just love, love, love this look so much. I really wanted the main focus of this mantle to be where the pumpkin sat, like right up here on this mantle. But I also wanted to add something on that wall. So I decided to go with a very plain and organic looking wreath. I did not add anything to it. And I feel like it just kind of completed the look here. And then I did add my six pumpkins here on the mantle first. I decided where I wanted them to go and how I wanted to place them. And then I went back in with those filler pieces of eucalyptus and then I just kind of placed them to fill in those empty spots. I do want to note that these eucalyptus stems do dry up absolutely beautifully as well. I wish that I could have found some hydrangeas because I know that those can dry up beautifully but I couldn't find any and I really didn't want to take my chances with that because they do wilt once they are without water for a while. Um, I know there's a certain type of hydrangea that you can use that dry really pretty but I just was not sure on that. So as you will see here in just a few minutes I am going to add some silk flowers to this as well and um, I'm also going to add some faux pumpkins in here in just a second.
I really could have stopped right here because in my opinion, I feel like this mantle looks really pretty. I could have just added a few candlesticks and this just would have been absolutely gorgeous. But I really wanted to add some pops of white in here. And I had these pumpkins. I believe I bought these at Hobby Lobby a few years ago. And I love how those stems have a very natural look to them. So I just kind of placed them in between those fantasy pumpkins and then I did go with some silk florals. I was originally going to use those two that you just saw me take away. I felt like the the size of those were just not right. They were too much the same size of those pumpkins. So I decided to go with some smaller pieces. I also found those at Hobby Lobby as well and I did purchase those this year. They're like a small white hydrangea or like a cream colored hydrangea and I love how this looks. And then I wanted to add some lighting and I went ahead and used my um, battery operated flicker candles and I love these. They are so pretty. I purchased them on Amazon not too long ago. I will leave that linked in my description box. And then those wooden candlesticks I found at Home Goods. My life was great till you added colors. And then the very last piece that I'm going to add on top of this mantle is this bust. And I feel like it really makes this look French country. And I am so in love with the way this looks. It is exactly what I had envisioned in my mind. And I do get asked about this bust quite often. I like to use her in a lot of my decor. And I did find that at Home Goods probably four years ago. And it was during the springtime. And it was when they had all of their spring items out. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the fireplace area and I'm going to take this chair and just move it into the other room really quick. And since we are not starting our fireplace just yet, I wanted to kind of hide the look of just looking at an empty fireplace so I went ahead and used a mirror and I thought this would look really pretty with the reflection of some candlelight so I added a few candlesticks and then more of those candles that I found on Amazon and then I'm just going to place this really pretty iron screen in front of that and I do get asked about the screen quite often so I just wanted to let you know that I did find it at Hobby Lobby it was originally black and I did end up painting that white. I love making this sofa look super comfy with some nice pillows and a cozy throw and I found this one at Home Goods and it is so comfortable and soft and plush and cozy and I think it would be perfect to just snuggle up on the sofa with a warm drink and watch a movie or whatever. I feel like making a room cozy, it just makes everything so comforting and inviting. And then over here on my tray, on my ottoman, I'm just using a mirror for the tray. And then I thought I would add some fantasy glass pumpkins and a candle. And I did find those pumpkins at Marshall's several years ago. I believe you can still find them there but I love how cozy and inviting this whole family room looks right now. I know that I loved the way it looked previously, but I'm even more in love with the way it looks now. It's just so cozy. Okay, so before I end today's video, I have a huge surprise for you all. I recently hit 50,000 subscribers here on my channel. And I wanted to just say thank you so incredibly much. So I am going to give one of you $150 either in PayPal or a gift card. It is your choice, but you have to enter. And to enter, you have to comment below and just say, enter me in the contest or I'd love to be entered or something like that. It Just let me know that you want to be entered into the contest and you will be. 
I will leave all of the details in my description box in case you are confused or any of that stuff. So check my description box. All the details to enter will be there. Good luck to everybody. I will also leave the date when I will announce the winner. So you have to be subscribed, you have to comment and say that you wanna be entered and you have to like this video. So click the like button and do all the things and good luck to everyone. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys all have an amazing day. Make sure you are subscribed if you are not already and I will see you in the next one. Bye.